Howdy y'all and welcome to another episode of the Bubba Speed Career Mode in MotoGP20. And it is time for Bubba to head from Austin all the way down to Argentina and uh, hopefully get a much better result because I mean this season has been pretty bad so far. Two horrible, horrible, horrible results. Um, obviously uh, getting zero points in in um, in Qatar. I think getting what was it, one point or something like that in uh, uh, yeah. One point I think it was in Austin, or two points in Austin, whatever it was, still not good at all. And we head to Argentina. Uh, it is pouring raining, which is definitely not ideal. Um, I don't know where Bubba qualified. Actually, towards the front. That's right. Bubba was looking pretty damn good here. I'm not going to lie. Like This is a track where I've done pretty well in the past and uh, looking pretty good so far. And qualifying uh, did really well, finished, qualified in fifth position. And I do have to say, like out of nowhere, I just feel so much better with the bike and with the game in general. I don't know if it's the development that has been made on the bike or what, but it just feels so much better. And even in the pouring rain, it's been like this the entire weekend. It's just like, I feel so much more comfortable with the bikes. I feel so much more uh, comfortable with the braking. So I do look forward to eventually getting to be able to play this game again, because I've mentioned this in my recent FIFA video. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say it in every single series, just in case people, obviously, you know, maybe you don't have, the, you don't, you want to watch my FIFA videos? Or you don't want to watch my UFC videos? Maybe you're just watching this one. Uh, my ex my ex my Xbox actually broke, so um, unfortunately. Oh, and Vinales is dead. He's officially dead. Holy shit! His bike went flying. Alex, maybe that was Alex Rins. Either way, somebody's dead. Um, that's I do not envy them. Anyway, so my Xbox um, apparently short circuited because there was a storm about a week. I think it was actually a week ago to the damn recording this, which is Friday. Um, you'll 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 hear this the week after basically so um but yeah it's been yeah uh power went out twice in about five seconds and apparently uh it fried my xbox on the inside because it was in standby in, in uh, installing da doom eternal actually so i guess doom uh, doomed my xbox which is disappointing but it is what it is um i will try to bring you guys more content as as soon as i can what i'm hoping is that uh milestone actually have an, an upgrade in place to where you can play the game on Xbox One Series. Uh, sorry, on Xbox Series X. I don't know if that's already a thing. I haven't checked. Uh, hopefully, that will be the case. If not, then I guess we'll never know what happens with Bubba because I'm not going to buy the game twice. Um, it's a great game, but I don't know if it's really worth buying it twice. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, maybe I'll have the, the my Xbox One fixed and and play it on there if they if they don't have an upgrade available because that would be that would be pretty annoying. But uh, I don't know. I don't really expect anything from anybody, so we'll see what happens. But Bubba, as you can just see, like right now, so much more confident, so much, uh, so much more stable on this damn bike. Like, I really have gotten used to the braking. Have gotten a lot better in terms of steering. Um, definitely used some advice that my dad gave me as well, which has really come in handy here. Uh, and just in general, man, like it feels so so good. Like it's actually a really rewarding feeling. It's kind of like, uh, like honestly, I've been playing a bit of Dark Souls because I'm able to put it on, play it on my computer and. I've been oh and Banyaya he's another guy it's base uh, he's he's gonna be hurt for a while but like you know I've kind of adapted myself a little bit in terms of the way I play video games now because I, I've I have such little time to play it to where um, I feel like a lot of times like I, I get frustrated when I fail whether it be in this game or when I whether it's you know playing any other kind of genre of game to where I feel like. You know, like every time I die, or in this case, every time I crash, or something like that, it is an immense waste of time. Or any time I'm not able to do anything uh, of you know substantial in this game, I, a lot of times I feel like it's a waste of time. But at the end of the day, a lot like in Dark Souls, even though this is a very this is very much easier. Um, at the end of the day, you have to suck before you get good, and it's kind of like that in anything in life. You have to be shit before you can be good at something, unless you're just a you know, a natural, just a gifted person naturally at that specific thing, which isn't really my case in either, in either, in either game. I've definitely put it that way. Um, so, you know, obviously sucking really bad early on is is frustrating. It's annoying, and it's definitely not fun for anybody. But you know, if you can persevere and you can keep on going, and you will eventually get better, and you will learn, and uh, you will have some results. So I'm happy to say that you know I just feel so much, uh, so much better. In this game, obviously made a huge mistake there. Really could have risked crashing. This turn is actually deceptive, like especially 
on these bikes because when the biggest thing I've noticed is that obvious and this is obvious like this is the way it probably should be but like when you go from Moto 2 sorry when you go from Moto 1 to Moto, to, <laughs> from Moto 3 to Moto 2 the jump in the bikes is pretty big but at the end of the day they're still both they're still really light like Moto 2 bikes are still really light they're not that fast so overall they're still pretty much all about corner speed but in MotoGP, it's, it, you know, the bikes are heavier and you can really feel it. Like, everything is a lot more, you know, you just kind of feel everything. And you do kind of start to notice a lot of little different things about the steering. And I got to say, like, that turn is very difficult. But it's also, the rest of the track is just so good. And, I, like, I've, I've, the more I play on Argentina, obviously, like, I've, I say this all the time. is like, I've played so much on the European tracks, the traditional European tracks that, I know them like the back of my hand, and I will pretty much always perform at least decently on those tracks. And a lot of times with the newer tracks, because I don't know them that well, or I, or you know, I just don't have that much time on them, I do make a lot more mistakes, and I just I don't feel like I enjoy them a lot. And a lot of them are like realistically the way they're they're built and the way they're laid out. It's just they don't really feel that fun. But this track is just insanely phenomenal like I don't know what year this track was built obviously I know it's 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 been added rather recently to the MotoGP calendar but it's just so much fun you know it feels like a European track and obviously Argentina has a very big uh, Italian in influence in its history so I don't know if that's the case like maybe it's because of something like that I mean, just culturally in terms of racing as well it's kind of built in but it definitely feels like a European track and uh, I really just love this track so I, I, I look forward to it at this point every single season. It's actually the first one every year. I think it's probably because it's like well, it's also the first track every season where Bubba can actually compete and, and look pretty good. As right now, he is in the midst of a battle with Valentino Rossi. Whether you believe he is the greatest of all time or not, um, I don't necessarily believe he is. But uh, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say I don't believe he is. But okay, he's definitely on the verge of losing that status, no matter what you want to say. I believe that Marquez, unless unless he doesn't come back, you know, the same Marquez we saw before after that bad injury, um, then, you know, maybe the, 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 the Rossi record will stand the test of time, but I don't think it will. I think Marquez is going to destroy it, but, you know, obviously being in a battle with Valentino is, is always a huge thing. So, see if Bubba can get the best of him for the first time this season, which would be massive for him. Right now, the battle has actually been pretty decent. Like, there isn't too much passing going on, but, uh, or at least not in terms of just pure, you know, regular passing. It's pretty much been all, you know, Bubba gets ahead of him for a split second and makes a mistake, something like that. But Bubba breaking pretty late here. Have to, have to be very careful. Turning in a bit early, cutting it. We're gonna come out a little bit wide. Rossi's gonna have the better drive, but I do believe that Bubba can draft him going into the first corner and can use that as an advantage. Get on the break late. Break, 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 break. Gonna go wide. But luckily it's a long looping right hander. So if you can even if you get on the gas a little bit late, you can still really come out of it nicely. And Bubba does just that with a lap, uh, with only two laps left to go. See if Bubba can actually get on a podium, which would be huge. I mean, going from last to 15th is a, is a decent upgrade, obviously. Uh, and then obviously going from 15th all the way up to a podium would be massive. Obviously, even a fourth or fifth position wouldn't be bad, but a podium is huge. It's been too early. I apologize for the yawn. Every time I fucking record, I yawn. It's just... Like, let me tell you, if I restarted or if I edited out every time I yawn, it would pretty much just, no videos would ever come out. So, I have no choice but to leave it in there. Uh, Valentino has pretty much been left in the dust, which is uh, sad for him. It's sad but true, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah. Um, people who know me will get that, get, will get that reference. Um, and we're seeing right now if Bubba can get up to Morbidelli, which is actually, you know, that's kind of cool. Like, it's realistic in, in, in the fact that, you know, a lot of the guys that, uh, that we're doing well in real life, we're doing well in the game right now, which is kind of cool. So, uh, Borbidelli is right there. Bubba Speed at this point just needs to maintain his composure and not do anything stupid that could cost him this position. Like, I would rather get fourth place and miss a podium than crash out trying to get up there and in, in, in making a huge mistake. Like, if, you, if you're not able to get to it, fine. You know, you're pushed hard, good. But if you crash out, then that's, uh, that's very, very fucking disappointing. Uh, we are about to start the final lap. There is a nice gap there, but like realistically, we are we're eight tenths of a second away, and they are divided within you know I would say probably less than three tenths. So realistically, man, like if we get past one, 
we could potentially see Bubba win the race, uh, as Bubba actually has the fastest lap of the race. They're showing how good he's been uh, throughout the second half of this race. Gets past Alex Marquez. No, Mark Marquez. Let's say Alex Marquez, really? Gets past Mark Marquez for third position. Runs wide, almost touched the dirt, so Mark Marquez is going to get the drive. But Bubba can draft him. I mean, you can just kind of see the difference between the KTM and the Honda right there in terms of pure power. But Bubba's going to break way later. Actually breaks a little too late. Risks crashing with the endo. He's going to come out wide, but it is a looping corner, so you can actually exploit that a little bit. And Bubba is right there on Morpidelli's ass. Could definitely hope to dive in on him. Pause. And take and take second position, which would be huge. Let's see. Morbidelli breaks pretty pretty late there. Like That's pretty well done by him and Dovizioso. Bubba's not quite able to get as close as he would like to be able to make an attempt at a pass. But this is the part where Bubba's actually pretty quick. This chicane right here goes in a little wrong. Comes out of it very nicely, though. Excellently done. On Morbidelli, bumps into him. And that's going to cost quite a bit because I feel like with the speed we had going through there, we could potentially catch Dovizioso. I think Mir's already crashed like three times in this race. Bubba coming out of it. He's, he's a little bit wide. He's a little bit wide. Oh, Morbidelli. Keeps on his bike. Bubba speed. One last corner to try to do something. It's not going to be enough. Actually almost risk crashing too. But hey, that's a that's a hell of a performance right there. No penalty, which is huge. Obviously, that's something that's cost us a lot over the years. But Andrea Dovizioso wins in Termasterio Hondo. Followed by Franco Morbidelli and Bubba Speed. And then Mark Marquez, Jack Miller, Paul Espargaro. So KTM with, uh, actually, no, Brad Binder. Excellent, too. So there's three KTM riders in the top ten. One on a podium and one just barely missing the top, the top five. So our team, uh, out of nowhere, is looking pretty decent. Like, that's uh, this could be potentially a track that is a KTM track in terms of, you know, actually being able to do something. So that's really good to see. Um, obviously... We're still very far away from being uh, anywhere near the top of the leaderboard. I mean, we're in 10th position with 17 points. So we gained 7 positions, which is obviously great. Um, hopefully, we can continue in the next video when that eventually does come out. Because like I said, man, like my Xbox is gone. So um, I don't have any more gameplay recorded, unfortunately. Um, so this is kind of it, guys. Like, I don't know what to say. Um, I don't know when I'll be able to continue this, but... Hopefully, eventually. Uh, yeah. Um, if this is it for Bubba Speed, if I can't get my, uh, if I can't get the game working, maybe what I can do is I can borrow my brother's Xbox or something like that to record from there. So, one way or another, I will find a way to continue this series. It's just a matter of when, um, and you know, that will. I don't know whether it's a couple weeks, whether it's I don't know. Sometime down the line, I will eventually have more videos for you guys in this game um i really do hope i really do hope you can uh you know you can forgive me for this mishap but there's really nothing i can do about it i mean i don't control the weather and unfortunately i don't control uh, short circuits and bubba speed he did control he controlled this race like crazy he had a really good performance overall like really didn't make any big mistakes whatsoever and was able to keep himself up front as we see david abrivio enjoying no not is it david abrivio no i don't ooh, i don't i think i said something stupid i may have said something stupid i think it's david abrivio let me check him let me look it up on uh, look him up on google i'm pretty sure it's him and there you go bubba speed has a trophy finally or they actually show him doing the champagne too that's cool i'm happy about that that's nice what footballer? Hell no. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. He wasn't a footballer. Okay, never mind. That's not Davide Brivio. My bad, guys. That's embarrassing. Uh, Ducati Engineer. What the, what the hell is the guy's name? Fuck, I want to find it. I want to find it. Uh, damn it. Damn it to hell. Guys, thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Luigi da Ligna!